First and foremost, I want to say I think Wisconsin got that victory because they felt the presence of Tim Jarmus behind the bench. His greatness led Wisconsin to that victory, but no, seriously. This game is exactly why college basketball is the greatest sport on the planet. The passion, the intensity, that, that Minnesota crowd, they brought it. Props to the Minnesota fans. That was a great home court environment. You won't see the Cole Center rocking like that on a Tuesday night. Um, that was a great environment, but Wisconsin's got some dogs on their team that responds to a tough environment. Uh, I like the way Wisconsin set a tone early in the game. They fed Wall, they fed Crowl in the first two possessions, and uh, got, they bullied their man and got a bucket each time. And then Max Klesman, that first half, was huge for Wisconsin. Um, he was hitting tough shots, and basketball is a make or miss sport. It is a lot easier of a game when you're hitting shots. It sounds obvious, but when you don't have to grind it out each and every possession, um, you give yourself some relief, you build a little margin, the game's a lot easier. They got up to 15 points, but... Minnesota was really resilient. They come out that second half looking like the Golden State Warriors like, from six years ago. They were 6-6 six six to start the half from three, including a bank and three from Hawkins, from the, from the logo. But Wisconsin did bank one in the first half. It all evened out. But you look at Minnesota, man, that, that crowd, the team, they, they brought it. They were desperate for a win. They're on a three-game losing skid. Uh, but Hawkins, man, he's a hooper. If they did not have Hawkins tonight, they would have been in big trouble. Uh, but he put up 16 points. Nine assists, shooting 32% from three on the year heading into the game. Made four threes. And then Dawson Garcia. I said, I feel like he's going to hit a three or two this game. I just felt like it was coming. He was due. And it always seems to happen against your favorite team. But uh, no, Garcia, he, he came out hooping as well. He only had 10 points, but it felt like he had more because he had some really key baskets on the stretch. Um, but Minnesota, their strategy was impressive to me. Um, it was like Iowa football. They were really draining that clock. It was, it was a good strategy. They know they're probably a little outmanned against Wisconsin. Wisconsin is the better team, but they played physical. They played hard. They had a great home court environment. And, you know, they also made some tough shots in the second half. There's a lot of resiliency from both teams because then Wisconsin got down by two with about 230 left. And then they had an ugly shot from Max Klesman go up. But then the next possession, uh, they get a steal and a dunk, and then they get another stop, forcing to travel by a good rotation. Um, and I thought it was a great call by guard, you know, just get the ball to A.J. Store and get out of the way. Uh, Store drew a foul late in the game, nailed his free throws, and then Tyler Wall, in his last game at the barn, the fifth-year senior, came out clutch for Wisconsin, nailing a three, putting up 16 points, four assists, and three blocks, and then hitting the game ceiling free throws to put Wisconsin up three. And then Minnesota... Um, Wisconsin obviously fouled when they were up three to send them to the free throw line. And they, that, they did it. They did the missed free throw to perfection. Uh, they got the ball back. They got a decent shot up, almost put it in, but yeah, big game from Wisconsin. You, you got to take any win you can in the big 10. And I, I like the way this sets up for Wisconsin against Michigan state and thank the good Lord above Tyler wall did not get injured prior to a Friday night game in January against Michigan state. Like he did the last two years walls healthy. I think that's bad news for Michigan state. But, uh, and then obviously last shout out, AJ Soar, 15 points, 12 rebounds. He, man, his athleticism, enjoy it, Badger fans. I don't know if we'll be seeing it next year, but great game from Wisconsin. It's not very easy to win on the road, especially in that environment. When you're playing against Penn State and they have 10 fans in the arena, you should come out on top, even if the refs are, are terrible. Um, but this environment, this is a good win. This is a hard fought win. Shout out to the Badgers. And that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If this is your first video with me, make sure to like and subscribe for more college basketball content. See you next time.